hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is janelle veronica and i post makeup videos twice a week on wednesdays and on saturdays so if you absolutely love your makeup make sure that you subscribe and join the family here in makeup land for today's makeup i have some nyx some black opal some juvia's place for my eyeshadow i have the la girl break free bu eyeshadow palette this is what the palette looks like we have a nice assortment of browns some shimmers some very pretty shimmers in the palette so that is what i'm going to be using on my eyes today so with that said let me get to priming and let me get some makeup on my face for my primer i'm going to go in with the milk makeup hydro grip primer I'm just going to massage that into the face. All right, guys, so primer has been drying down long enough. It is nice and tacky. I say so all the time, say that all the time. But I like to say, just in case we have any new viewers who have never used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, it gets tacky on the skin. And that is what really grips onto the foundation and holds the makeup in place. It is one of my absolute favorite primers. Give it a try if you've never used it before. For my foundation today, I have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I am. This is the first time that I am using this. I have it in the shade Deep Rich. What does it say? On the box it says with just a few drops our total control drop foundation delivers sheer to full coverage and a velvety matte finish sounds good I am going for full coverage let me give it a shake It is very liquidy. And some of that definitely dropped on me. I don't know why, but I don't like to go in with droppers. I like to go in on the back of my hand, then apply the foundation to my face with, the found with my finger. But we're going to work with this today. I'm going to go in with a Real Technique sponge and start to blend that foundation out. All right, it looks like if we have coverage, it is looking like it's full coverage. I can already feel it drying down on the face and I like that. I like to know when my foundations dry down and stay in place throughout the day. All right, that is such a beautiful, beautiful finish. It is matte, but it is not a flat matte. It doesn't look dull on the skin. As I said, I have full coverage. So far, I am liking it. I'm going to do some concealing and highlighting of my face now. I am going in with the Juvia's Place Concealer in shade number 12. I like to conceal my mustache. Your girl has a mustache and I like to conceal that. I'm going to highlight my forehead just a little bit down the bridge of my nose as well and a little bit on my chin all right and those are the areas that i like to conceal and highlight and bring brightness to the center of the face while that dries down a little bit 
I'm going to contour my face. I am going in with the Black Opal Stick Foundation in Ebony Brown. And I washed my brushes. Washing your brushes is so satisfying. This is the BH Cosmetics number no. 3 brush. And I'm going to use that to blend the contour out. When I'm blending my contour out, I like to push it upwards so that the cheekbones are nice and lifted, nice and sculpted. Then when I get to my forehead, I work it backwards into my hairline. All right guys, so contour is blended out. If you've never tried the stick foundation as a contour, definitely give it a try. It comes in so many shades. It blends out nice and easy, and it is such a beautiful contour um, when you're doing your makeup. I'm gonna switch to a callous sponge and just start to blend my concealer out, starting at my chin. Just going in pattern motions so that I can control exactly where that product goes. When I blend my, con my concealer out under my eyes, I start around the perimeter, work my way around, then I come back and tackle the inner part of the under eye. You know, making sure to look up so we get directly under the lower lash line. Making sure to hit the side of your nose. All right, guys, so concealer is blended out. That concealer is such a pretty concealer. It's full coverage, and it's the Juvia's Place Concealer, and I went in with shade number 12. I'm going to set my concealer. To set my concealer, I'm going to go in with another Juvia's Place product. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Setting Powder in the shade Gobi. And I'm basically just setting down all of the areas where I would have gone in with that concealer. I highlighted down the bridge of my nose with the concealer. So I'm just going to go in and set that area down. To set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my very well-loved. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in 365 Nutmeg. All right, face is set. And it is time to bronze, which is my favorite step. I love to go in and bronze my face. For my bronzer, I'm going in with the Morphe Glamour Bronze. This one is in the shade Prodigy. And I am going in with my Ashley Lee P04 brush. You know, just to warm up the perimeter of the face. Make it look like if you've been on holiday. And you are nice and sun-kissed.
I'm also going to use that bronzer to sculpt my nose out. You know, nothing too harsh. A nice, soft nose sculpt. All right, guys. So I did my brows off camera just to save a little bit of time to prime my lids for the eyeshadow i went in with the same concealer the juvia's place one and then just set it down with some of the same juvia's place i am magic setting powder for the eyeshadow as i said i have the la girl break free bu eyeshadow palette such a cute neutral glam eyeshadow palette so we're gonna pull an eye look together I'm going to start by going in with a transition shade. I am going to go in with this brown, like a nice terracotta brown in the palette. And I'm going in on my Morphe M434 brush. And I'm just going in nice soft circular motions, making sure that we have a nice smooth transition down. And that transition shade was called Sunset. I'm going to dip into a darker brown. This one is called Strong, that shade in the palette. And I'm going to use that to deepen up my crease. I'm also using another Morphe M434 brush. And I'm working this a little bit lower into the crease so that the crease is nice and defined. Also on the outer V of the eye, just dragging it outwards and upwards. Those two colors are so pretty now that they're blended out. Nice and soft. A nice neutral eye I'm gonna put a shimmer on my lid and I'm gonna go in with the shade called Queen which is this gold shimmer shade in the palette oh this shade is pretty This gold shade, it is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I'm going to go back in with the dark brown called Strong just to make sure that the outer V is nicely transitioned into the shimmer shade. And a little bit through the crease as well. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into the transition shade called Sunset. And work that along my lower lash line. I 
I'm also going to run a little bit of black liner in my on my lower lash line. This is the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner in the color Ultimate Black. Alright guys, so we're done with the palette. I have to pop a pair of lashes on and we have to do an inner corner highlight for the eye for the eyes. You guys know I love an inner corner highlight and a highlight down the bridge of my nose. For my lashes, I'm going in with the Eiler London Definition Full and Bold False Lash. Alright guys, so lashes are on. These lashes are so cute. I love them. They're nice and fluttery and wispy. I'm going to put my blush on now. For my blush, I'm going to go orangey coral to match with the eyes. So we have a very neutral look going on. I'm going in with the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in the shade Just For Fun. It looks extremely bright. But we want to apply it gently. It gives the most prettiest coral blush cheek. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques 400 blush brush. I absolutely love this blush it is so pretty it's not patchy such a nice cute coral blush I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye and down the bridge of my nose to do that today I am going in with the Maybelline master chrome highlighter in molten gold And then I like to go in with my sponge and make sure that the nose highlight is nice and blended in. It doesn't look too harsh. For my setting spray today, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I think Urban Decay makes some of the best setting sprays. This thing really holds your makeup in place throughout the day. So if you're on the market or if you're looking for a new setting spray, give this one a try. I also like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but I've run out of that one. But I think I prefer this one more, the Urban Decay one. My face is going to look a little bit wet still because the setting spray is still drying down. I'm just going to go in and perfect my under eyes. Going in with my Morphe M554 brush. I'm just going to dip into that Juvia's Place I Am Magic Powder. Shake the excess off, off, off. Then just go in and lightly set, making sure to blend the under eyes nicely into the blush. You're not baking, you're just going in with a little bit of setting powder just to perfect the under eyes. For lips, I'm going to line start by lining my lips with the Black Opal Lip Precision Lip Definer in the color Timber. It's a brown liner. And I basically just filled in my top lips and just lined my lower lash, my, what did I say lash? My lower lip line as usual. 
for my lipstick i'm gonna go in with a very light nude this is the this is the maybelline matte lipstick in the shade 430 hot sand it's part of their color sensational line And you guys know I love to top my lips off with a gloss. This is the Juvia's Place Oasis Gloss. It's part of their Nubian Earth collection. All right, guys, and that is the makeup look all complete. I really like the combination for my, my under eyes look so smooth and so buttery. I love it. The Juvia's Place concealer is so good, especially when you set it with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic setting powder. Such a good combination. The NYX Total Control Foundation Drops, so pretty. It, they're very, very watery, and I thought that I would not be able to get full coverage, but I got full coverage. It's an extremely pretty foundation, and it actually dries down. You can feel it drying down, which probably means that it's going to stay in place throughout the day, and you know that's the vibe that we all want for our makeup. All right, guys, so I hope you guys like the makeup. Let me know if you're going to try the NYX Total Control Drops. They're not new. They have been around for ages, but this is the first time I'm going in with it. Let me know if there's any makeup that I use in my routine today that you use in your makeup routine. All right, guys. So until next time, I want you to be fabulous. I want you to have a fantastic week as always, and I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye, guys.